Hello, everybody. My name is Troy Nelson. I am in the KEXP live room, and this is where we broadcast live in Seattle 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 90.3 FM. We stream all over the world at kexp.org. You may listen to us on uh, the KEXP app as well, and in studios like this are only made possible with your support, so thank you for supporting KEXP so we can bring you these one-of-a-kind in-studio performances and I have been waiting for this for quite some time. I'm very excited to have Glasser here in the KEXP studios in Glasser. If you're all set, take it away.
Amazing. You're listening to Glasser live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle.
Wow. You're listening to Glasser live here on 90.3 KEXP. Exercise 
Beautiful. That is Glasser live here on KEXP. The new album is called Crux, and we love it. Thank and you. And thank you so much for taking the time to do this. It's our pleasure. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. You just sent me to a different planet right there. I'm just <laughs> kind of coming back. Yeah. <laughs> just for our listeners, there's only two people in this room. Well, two musicians. <laughs> there's lots of camera people. But uh, two musicians, and there's several instruments I've never seen in my life in all <laughs> the years of music. What is going on here? Um, wow, it's such a fantastic voice. Obviously, it's taken you all over the world. And we got to talk about Robbie's talent, Robbie, too. My, Robbie, what's where going would I on? be without Robbie? <laughs> I'm like, what is, can he, is there anything he cannot do? <laughs> I mean, well, I don't let's even. Not, let's not find out. I, yeah, I don't even know what kind of flutes those are. There's like a digital one. There's yeah. an analog one. There's one that looks like what I thought was a saxophone, but apparently it's a flute. And then he walks over to the piano and mm. just uh, that, that. I was astounded. Yeah, he's he's something. How did you two find each other? We met through another musician, Hisham Barucha, who's in a band called Kill Alters in Brooklyn. And um, he's also a fantastic person and artist. And he, uh, I asked him if he knew anyone who played flute. This is like 2016 around. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was pre-Trump. It was right. pre-Trump right. 2016. PT. <laughs> PT, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but then I mostly ended up playing the, the miniature medieval pipe organ. That's right. <laughs> That's right. He plays a thing called a portative organ that is really... I mean, yeah. So I, we, we met each other. He was like, oh, I know exactly who you should meet. And um, now we're like very, very close friends and... Um, we're doing this, awesome. and it's. I'm so lucky to have him. Love it. Well, speaking of the new album, the music video for the song Easy. <laughs> okay, so uh, how did you find someone that could do all those jet ski stunts? I have to know. Oh, well, that was me. Oh, the whole time? <laughs> yeah. It, it was you. That's me. The that's whole what I've been doing for 10 years. That's why you haven't put an album yes, out, because you've I've been, been learning how to backflip. I was learning how to do a big old flip on a jet ski. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Seriously. I believe you. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of worth it. I, yeah, right? Yeah, jet skis the are amazing. The video turned out pretty good. Yeah, well, good job. <laughs> I commend you. you on that. But now you're back to music? Now I'm back to music. Okay. Actually, this is kind of the second show for Crux, and I have to admit I was kind of nervous. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I, I haven't really been doing this. I just did something else in L.A. We did something else in L.A. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it just it's a very different thing to be out there again doing songs and in front of people. And mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so going back yeah. to the beginnings, your parents were involved with music in one way or another. And mm -hmm. you started to find your way into music through electronic music. And yeah. I'm curious mm -hmm. who those electronic artists were that helped you find your path. Oh, I mean, actually, <laughs> well, there were lots of electronic artists that helped me find my path. But truly, I wanted to be in a rock band. Yeah. And so I found electronic music out of pure frustration at that like every boy that I knew would not let me be in their band how rude <laughs> I know so I didn't really intend to be an electronic musician but it was where my language was mm -hmm. like most naturally and um I I just you know I I was given garage band and thank god because it saved me mm -hmm. it like saved me from I don't know the the toil of maybe not doing music whatever it was i would have been doing mm -hmm. yeah awesome i want to talk about this one time you played a show in san diego and afterwards <laughs> you went to the bar and you swore you saw Lori anderson yeah. <laughs> and so you asked the guy sitting next to you at the bar if it was her and he goes i'm her bass player he, she, yeah he was like it is and i'm her bass player <laughs> he was icelandic <laughs> his name's schooly schooly yeah he was like i was like i went to the bar and i was like oh is that Lori anderson <laughs> 
just to the next person. And he was like, it is, and I'm a bass player. <laughs> That's amazing. You were yeah. one degree from Laurie Anderson. <laughs> yeah, and now we have the same management. So. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, serendipitous. It, yeah, it's come. I love Laurie's music. Yeah. I love, what, what I an, love all kinds of things she does. Yes, yeah. what an artist. What an incredible artist. Yeah. Uh, what does Meredith Monk mean to you? Oh, so much. Incredible. Liberation. Mm -hmm. Just vocal liberation. Mm -hmm. I love I love what she did. Yeah. And is doing. Well, you and I have something in common. Speaking of uh, electronic music and finding exactly. our way, when I was young, one of my first inspirations was Aphex Twin, and we both have had an experience. I love Aphex Twin, of yeah. course. What yeah. brought you into that wild world? Well, I was like friends... <laughs> friends in high school who were fellow music nerds being like, check this out. You know, you couldn't find out about things as easily mm -hmm. when I was a teenager. So you just had to like rely on someone's older brother or sister to, yeah. to like say, this is a thing. Yeah. Or, or if they didn't, if they were gatekeepy, then you had to like sneak into their room and totally steal it. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea who he was. I was interning in New York mm -hmm. City at Matador Records in like 1999. Really? And I was interning there making a whopping $6 a day, <laughs> not an hour. Oh, wow. A day. It didn't even get me home. Oh, wow. But uh, they called me. They're like, hey, and it was a VCR tape. That's how long ago it was. Mm. They're like, hey, we have the new Aphex twin video for this song, Window Liquor. We're all going to go oh, watch it. Man. And so all of us gathered in this room. They shut off all the lights. And I was like, where am I? What? Because I'm from a small town in the Midwest, and here I am in New York City watching an Aphex Twin video in yeah. the Mat Matador offices. Window, window liquor, no less. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it uh, freaked me out and intrigued me all at the oh, same time. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. The coolest. I love it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I was talking about your music video with uh, all your jet ski acrobatics. Yes. And also your video from about 10 years ago mm. for Mirage. Is that Mirage? Uh, Mirage. Yeah. Uh, it had a, a, a black and white checkered floor and these red walls of course it looked kind of like the red room from Twin Peaks was mm -hmm. that purposeful are you are you yeah inspired I'm a fan by? Mm -hmm. actually the director chose all the things in there and the walls were they were they were like a radio a rainbow gradient mm -hmm. so not not just red but yeah it was like a um, the red lodge goes psychedelic cool. even in, to a happy psychedelic place, not a, not like a sad Bob world. Yeah, <laughs> love it, love it. Well, I'm so glad that you brought us this new album, Crux. And uh, is there anything else that you want to say to everybody? Where should people, what should people do? How how can oh, people stay in touch with? with I you? hope people laugh every day and get to eat nice food and don't have to. <laughs> suffer I don't know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if they want to listen to my record um geez I don't know because you know these days it's all about these darn numbers I know and I really prefer the sound quality of um Apple <laughs> but mm -hmm. I also or live seeing or you live. live seeing me live but also you know you can you can get the CD, you can get the vinyl, but Spotify, you know, also helps me. So I, I just say, I hope that people listen and enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Vinyl people. Yeah. I'm one of them. Vinyl people. Yeah. You're a vinyl person. I, I mean, sure. You know what? I'm not. Mm -hmm. I like, I mean, I, I think it's beautiful to like love a, a thing, especially materials. I really love certain materials, mm -hmm. but, um, I've moved enough times that oh, yeah, like, that's I, I really hate vinyl now. Yeah, moving, <laughs> moving and vinyl don't mix. <laughs> yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well, once again, thank you so much, both of you, for taking the time to do this. What a, a transportive experience that was. And uh, just so beautiful, beautiful music. So thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Once again, this has been Glasser, live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.